Welcome everybody to ShootSmarter.com. I am Woody Walters and on behalf of Woody Walters Digital Photo Candy, we are proud to present you with this month's issue of ShootSmarter.com. Hey, let's go in. I've been talking about the last couple of months about these custom brushes and everything that I've been doing. What I want to do is I want to show you how I'm applying these brushes this month and next month. So, so this is going to be a two-part series on how I'm doing this, but I want to show you how I created this illustration because it's if once you learn how to do this it's going to open up your style of photography where you're going to be so unique with your images that your clients are going to want to come to you and for you to do their work because they're just not going to be able to produce what they want or the way you see they're going to come to you because of your vision and how you see and so it's just going to bring you a lot more clientele and you're going to be able to create images that are just going to be mind-boggling so let's get started here First of all, if you look here, I got quite a few layers in this image. I'm going to throw them all out right now. And we're going to come down to here and I'm going to take it from the very beginning and show you how to do this. So let me just get rid of all of that. Here's the original shot of the football player running. And this was just shot in the back of the studio. And he's just running in the yard. And I got you know little I have a wallet and a knife that he runs to point A to point B and so I've already made a selection of that again you know you guys already should know how to select by now and so I'm just gonna make a selection so I'm gonna turn my path into a selection I'm gonna click OK and you can see now that I have the selection here and so now I'm gonna make sure that I'm on that layer and do control C to copy that but before I do let's do select modify and contract because of my selection is was made by using the magic wand tool or, or the magnetic lasso tool. It's working on the edge of, of the contrast between color contrast of the purple shirt and this brown fence. So you want to contract that so it sucks it in and only grabs him instead of the edges and that way you don't get any fringing. So now I've done that and do control D. Now you can tell that I'm on my own layer here and so I'm going to make a copy of that layer control J and now I'm going to hit that with pure white. So I'm going to put my white swatch up on top and I'm going to hit Alt Delete and it's going to cover the whole thing with white. And so now that I'm here, I'm going to do Control V and I'm going to paste him in. And you can see that he's on his own layer. And those of you that are working in Elements, Photoshop Elements, you need at least Photoshop Elements number 10 or higher. I believe it's up to 11 right now. But it will give you layers and it will give you masking as well. So I'm just going to create a mask. And a mask is cool because white allows it to show through. And you can see that it's white here. But I switch that to black. Now I'm going to switch my brush just to a normal brush. And we're going to reduce it a little bit uh, to about right there. And I'm going to say OK. And if I switch that to black, you can see that when I hit it with black, it makes it disappear. And when I hit it with white, it makes it reappear. OK, so right now I'm going to hit it with black and I'm going to cover the whole thing. I'm just going to paint him out. And I could just do Alt Delete and paint out everything. But this way I can get a little bit of an idea of where he is and where he's running from because of the way I'm painting. And you can see that I have my opacity at 100 and my flow at 100. Now this is where it gets fun. Now I'm going to switch that around so white is up on top. So now when I hit that, you know, wherever I hit it, it will bring it back. Except for now we're not going to use a round brush. Now we're going to use the smoke brushes. And so I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to grab this brush right here. Now you can see that I have my brush presets open. And you want that open because this little wheel is what's going to turn my brush to the angle that I want it. And doing this technique, it's very, very important that you have the right angle. And you can see right now that I have part of his head, and that's good, good, good. And really, I want all of his face in. So we're not going to we're going to hit this multiple, multiple times so we can bring that in. But now I can come over here and I can start hitting his body. And we're going to make that really small. And we're just going to hit his hand up here. Good, good, good. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to grab a different brush this time. Let's go down to this one. I love this brush. This is a cool brush. And we're just going to make that smaller still. And we're just going to hit part of that. And so now we're going to get that in there. Good, good, good. Now let's spin that a little bit more. And let's come down here. I know his leg is going to be there. So let's just hit his leg. Let's make that a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. And let's hit some of his calf area. Good. Look at that. Look at that. This is just... People, you're going to have so much fun with this. It's not funny. So we're just going to bring that in. And so now let's enlarge that a little bit more and see what's going on here. Good. Let's hit it with another brush. This one's pretty cool. Let's go on over here. Let's really reduce that brush size. And now let's get part of his butt cheek coming in. And now we're going to turn it so we can get that back leg coming in. 
Look at that. Look at that. Is that not cool? That's pretty bloody cool if you ask me. Make that real small. We're going to turn it a little bit more. Just get a little bit more of him coming in here. Good. Look at that. Look at that. See that? And I can just position this, you know, to conform to the outline of his leg. And by conforming to that outline, we can really pick this up. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get some of his shoulder coming in here. We'll get a little bit of his back neck coming in. Good, good, good. And now let's rotate that a little bit more and get a little bit of his arm coming in here. Good. We almost want all the football. All of the football. So I can really reduce that down and paint in a little bit more of that football there. Good. So now we can tell it's a football player. And now we're just going to come over here and get some of his fingers. Good. Good, good. Now let's look at that. That is looking so sweet. So now I'm going to create a new layer, but I'm going to make sure that layer is underneath my football guy. So now we're going to come over here. We're going to grab another brush and let's get something that really flies through here. Which one? That one. We're going to use this one and I'm going to come over here and select a purple. And I want a deep purple. So let's go with that. That looks pretty good. And let's rotate that just slightly, just slightly. Bring it up. Bring it up. Now remember, this is on its own layer. Good. Look at that. And now let's hit that with Edit, Transform. And now we're going to warp it. So we're going to do warp. And we're going to bring this area up. We're going to bring this area out. Good. And now we're going to curve this area. Good. So we're going to see that. Now we're going to do Control T, free transform it, and we're just going to bring this in. And that's pretty good, right in there. Right in there. Let's bring it back on a rotation just slightly. Good. Now, this front area, this area that's sticking out, we're going to create a mask, and we're going to hit that with a gradient. We're going to make sure that black's up on top. So I'm just going to come here. I'm just going to go to there. And good. So now you can see that swirling off him. That's excellent. That's excellent. Let's go to another brush. This one's not looking bad. Let's hit it with another layer. Let's rotate that. I just want to bring this up here. Rotate it just a little bit more. Good, good, good. And this one we're going to hit with black. We're already there on black. Let's create a new layer. So we're right there. And we're just going to hit this. Boom, boom. And now let's transform that. Good. And now let's rotate that. Look at that. Look at the speed that's starting to take on now. See what I mean? Look at the speed of that. That's just killer. That's just killer. And now we're going to go to a purple again, except we're going to go to a much darker purple, almost a black purple. And let's hit that again. And let's start with that original brush that we did, because that was a cool brush. Is that it? Yeah. And now, let's see where that's coming from. We're going to flip it. Good. And now we're going to rotate it. Good, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. We're just going to rotate it, create its own layer. If you, this is another big secret. Whenever you put down a paint swab, you hit it with a new layer. You never want to use the same layer twice. Now, let's look at this. See, that's looking pretty cool because now the smoke is making up him. And so it looks like the smoke is, it, you know, materializing into him. And so now let's hit that with edit, transform, and we're going to warp that because we want to bring some speed up on that. So now we're just going to bring that back. Good, good, good. Now let's bring it down. Let's see that. Reduce it, Woody. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. That's looking good. If we can get a little bit of yellow in there, I'm going to be real happy. Or a little bit of skin tone coming in. But hang on. Before I do that, let's move him in. Good. Look at that. Do I like that better like that? I think I like it better up on top. And now let's just hit the, the bottom of that. So let's zoom in a little bit. Let's grab another brush. We could use the same brush, but I don't want to. Let's get something that's a little bit more unstructured. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. Let's rotate that. Again, we're going to get its own layer. It's critical that you understand that. And now let's click a yellow. So I can come to right here. And now we're going to hit this. Boom. That's pretty good. But now let's get a skin tone. Let's get a little bit more brown. And let's go to about, let's pick a brown. That's not bad. 
and say OK. So now let's hit this. And we're on that same layer as that yellow, so let's make a new one. And now let's hit that. Good, good, good. And now let's warp that. Edit, transform, and warp. Warp. So now we're going to bring that to here, and we're just going to bring that up. And this one we're just going to bring over. Good, look at that. Good. Now, that's all the further I want to take you today. That's all the further that I want to take you for, for, this, for this month's issue. Because what we're going to do is when we're done with all this, and let me save this, control save, and I'm going to put down shoot smarter so we know exactly where to t take it from for next month. So we're just going to save that there. And now I'm going to come back over here and we're going to go to open. And you can see how this image is just materializing here. Look at that. Look at that. See see what's happening? Now, next month, what we're going to do is we'll bring in this image and this image, and then we'll create that background that really ties it all together and makes it just materialize. Now, people understand it's not going to be exact because I'm having to do this on the fly, and, of course, I'm probably not using the exact same brushes that I used before, but, you know, it'll be very, very similar as far as the technique, and that's what I want you to understand about doing for this month. And so until next month, I am Woody Walters again. Shoot from the heart and shoot with passion. Be sure to um, visit our, our site, Woody Walters Digital Photo Candy .com. You can find all your brushes there. You can find a lot of neat stuff that will really help aid you in your creativity in your photography. And so until next month, shoot from the heart and shoot with passion. We will see you here at shootsmarter.com.